Why haven't we paid back any of our loans? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach go-getters and entrepreneurs how to own their own lifestyle using the concept of infinite banking. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload new videos. And also check out our Patreon page because our Patreon page is where we talk about infinite banking and how to incorporate that into your lifestyle. And we don't teach this information anywhere else. So let's go ahead and get into the, the question of the day, which is why haven't we paid back any of our loans? Mm -hmm. So I want to be crystal clear <laughs> when we say this because I don't want anything to be misconstrued. We have paid back our loans. However, we're holding on to those loan repayments in a separate checking account at our bank. Mm -hmm. So we haven't physically written a check to the insurance company to pay off our loans because that money that's in our segregated account, if you see one of our previous videos, we call it a segregated account because it's a separate checkings account at our bank. So all of those loan repayments for our policy loans are not commingled with our day-to-day -day expenses. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why Darius and I choose to do it this way is because we want to keep our money moving like the banks. Mm -hmm. So the banks are able to flip money multiple times and we want to do the exact same thing. So you absolutely can, from your income, write a check to the insurance company every month for loan repayments. Mm -hmm. However, we just like to put ours off to the side and as that money builds, we like to take that money and use it for paying off our debt, maybe snowballing it a little bit uh, more aggressively or even paying off some of our expenses or even using it for travel. Because the rule with infinite banking, there's three rules, pay yourself first, pay yourself interest and recapture. So all of those loans that we get from our policies, they're out working for us and we're paying ourselves back principal and interest every single month to recapture those loan payments. Right, and loan repayments back to the insurance company does not grow your policy at all. Mm -hmm. Because remember, those loans aren't coming from your personal policy. We're using our personal policy as collateral to get a loan from the insurance company. So by paying those loan backs, loans back, it does not grow your personal policy. What grows your policy, what grows your banking system is what you do outside of your policy, which is what Carmen was saying of, of lending that money out to yourself and paying yourself the principal and interest, again, following the three rules, mm -hmm. which are paying yourself first, paying yourself interest and recapturing. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that by keeping our money in motion by uh, paying off our third party debt, like our credit cards and our rent in some previous examples that we've given you. Mm -hmm. Now, some people are gonna say, whoa, 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 Carmen and Darius, you still have to pay 5% to the insurance company. Why do you have this money sitting off to the side when you are accruing interest with the insurance company? And we totally get that. So let's go, let's break down the math, shall mm -hmm. we? Uh, because we realize that so many people are concerned about this 5% simple interest that you owe the insurance company. And that's normal because mm -hmm. as consumers, that's what we're taught. Get rid of the interest, pay everything off as fast as you possibly can. But we want to be a little bit more strategic with our money. So if we are paying, we, we are charged 5% for any outstanding loans from the insurance company, but we're paying ourselves 7%. What is that difference? Some would say 2%, because if we're paying 5%, but we're earning seven, that's actually 2%. Yeah, I would say, depending on how you look at it, I personally would say 40%. Why, because, was that, why is that, Darius? Well, I would say because <laughs> there's a 2% difference in between the 5% that we owe the insurance company and the 7% that we are uh, paying, paying back to ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's a difference of two. But how many, how, what percentage of two represents the five? There's a, there's a difference. That's a 40% difference. Hmm. So if we're looking at interest rates the way that we should be looking at interest rates when it comes to us, that's a 40% difference in what we're paying the insurance company versus what we're paying ourselves when it comes to interest. Mm -hmm. Cause we don't take the time to do the math. So as we are so overwhelmed over this 5% simple interest fee that we are paying to the insurance company, we forget the beauty of us being able to pay ourselves interest and let's say 7% simple interest to be specific. Mm -hmm. That spread is 2%, but let's break down the math. It's a 40% return. So let me ask you this. 
are you okay with paying 5% if you're earning 40? <laughs> I sure hope so. Because if not, you this video isn't for you. <laughs> well, that's, that's a little more complicated mm -hmm. but what we want to uh, want to illustrate to you is we've done videos about what we're doing with our credit cards and what we're doing with our rent totally if we just take those two examples where we're paying 24% interest mm -hmm. on a credit card mm -hmm. we're paying 11% on a credit card mm -hmm. we're paying 26% interest on a credit card mm -hmm. and we're earning 36% interest just by paying ourselves rent mm -hmm. we were able to stack that money that interest rates on top of each other which we are redirecting back to ourselves. So that's 90, a sum of 97% in interest that's coming back to us. And that's only four things that, we, that we've done. That we've shown examples for. That we've for. shown examples for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we pay 5% simple interest on that, but we're directing back to ourselves a sum of 97% interest that was leaving us, just in interest, just not in interest. including principal. Exactly. So I, I know that we're talking high level numbers and, and, and maybe this can be a little complicated, but, but the fact of the matter is we just want you to realize the potential that you have when you pay yourself interest. Yes. So when we go back to why haven't we paid back the loans to the insurance company is because we are utilizing those loans to flip money and to turn money as fast as we possibly can. Right. And for us specifically, once all of our third part party debt is paid off, we're then going to take that money and pay the insurance companies off. Mm -hmm. And then probably a week later, we'll request another loan <laughs> so that we can use that money to pay off all of our expenses for the entire year mm -hmm. and then pay that money back to us every single month plus principal and interest. Yeah, when we pay the money back to the insurance company, we're no longer able to use that money inside of our system. Mm -hmm. When we have control of our money, we're able to use that same money multiple times over because we have access to it. Exactly. So like we said, going back to that example, we're just compounding our ability to earn more interest just based off of the transactions that we're doing with our banking system. Right. Um, but if you guys want to see the step-by-step -step play on how we make this happen, then go to our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash wealth nation and subscribe to our, all of our exclusive content because we're going to break all of this down for you so that you're able to see the beauty of how much interest you can pay yourself and how that builds up over time. So that really allows you to become your own source of financing or yeah. own your own lifestyle like we say. <laughs> so definitely follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io and make sure you subscribe to our Patreon account so that you can get that exclusive content. And remember guys, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will. <laughs>